you showed up that day, yeah, ready for your, what was it called, Kejon chicken with the cheese yeah. and the potato, sitting there thrilled and excited about a day, reading Jackie Collins in one hand, <laughs> spoon in the other, disappointed, <laughs> all blacked out. You didn't have Amanda's number, correct? Correct. It wasn't just day one, it was day two as well. Correct. The fact that you had to leave meant what? What did you end up doing? Going home. And what did you have for lunch? Cheese and ham sandwich with a fizzy drink. <laughs> a what? A cheese and ham sandwich with a fizzy drink. <laughs> How much are you suing her for? She says, I shut down my cafe, which is only a cafe, to look for my hamster. You say, I lost the opportunity to enjoy an important local amenity. How much do you say that's worth, madam? £20. Oh, but though I saved her £20 by being closed, so I feel like I've how saved... Much is, uh, how much is... What's called, how much is one of Jean's jackets? One of Jean's jackets? Uh, £4.95. Well, she saved you a bit of money, did she not? Yeah, but that's not the point. It isn't the point. And it's the point that you make. Now, the point is you've opened up, correct? I you've have. got rid of the hamster. Your car is in the process of being repaired. Mm. Jean, on the face of this very silly case, you are suing a woman who owns a cafe for £20 for loss of opportunity of the enjoyment of a local amenity. And this, believe it or not, invites a broader legal and consequent philosophical question. What is a community space? Especially in rural areas, and particularly nowadays, in circumstances where publicly owned spaces are closed down. In rural communities nowadays, private businesses like Amanda's are, to some extent, local amenities that people come to rely on. And if this was a local amenity which you were entitled to use, like a community centre, which was shut down and you consequently lost use, enjoyment or suffered some other injury, I might, I have to tell you, think seriously about giving you some award. As it currently stands, it's a cafe. And so, therefore, in the circumstances, you don't have a case, even for your £20. And so I dismiss your case with this bit of advice. I might not have awarded you the £20, but it seems to me at least you had a happy afternoon with cheese sandwiches and some fizzy drinks. Your case is dismissed, and I wish you the best of luck. I shall give you some advice that was given to a well-known actor in the 80s. Stay away from hamsters and gerbils, madam. There you are. <laughs> your case is dismissed. Jean's case was dismissed, and she was awarded nothing by the judge. Let's find out how both parties felt about their day in court. You did save money, Jean, didn't you, by not coming for those two days, so, you know, that's the £20. I'm still going to go to the cafe. We uh, still enjoy being friends. No, I had no choice at the end of the day to close the shop. I had a hamster loose in my car, which has caused thousands of pounds of damage. Yeah. So, um, I'll make it up to you, Jean. Yeah. Jean is a very valuable customer. I look forward to seeing her every day. Oh, my advice to anyone buying a hamster is, like, don't buy a hamster. <laughs> don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge render moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.